What's up guys, Caesar here. I wanna talk about this controller I got. I got the old school Vatacama FC edition. It's the FC30 Pro by 8-Bit Do. 8-Bit Do. Or 8-Bit Do. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Whatever your flavor is. So I have it set right now to PC mode. The cable comes with it. I was using my own micro USB, but it wasn't working as good. It wasn't detecting. So I don't know if it's just the way I set it up, but you do have to set it up in PC mode. Let me show you what that looks like. I did downgrade to the 2.0 firmware. So there's on the website, there's the legacy. And the reason I do that is because I have mainly iOS devices, but right now I'm using this on uh, Windows PC with my MAME. So, in order to get that to work, you come down here where it says connecting the USB, you press and hold start for two seconds, the LED lights will rapidly blink, and then you plug it into the micro USB. So, you gotta hold, press and hold start for two seconds. I think mine didn't start blinking until I actually held, held start and, and the on button, which is this guy right here. Overall, really impressed with the quality of the control. Um, you can see that the button itself looks like the old school Game Boy that we all grew up with back in the uh, late 80s, 89 when it came out. Um, even the Nintendo NES used that same button. So I like the, the button factor. It feels solid and uh, feels really good. So for 80s games, you probably won't need these sticks, but I program my MAME to work with both of these. Let me show you uh, what I did here. So uh, let's go ahead and open up MAME. I'm playing Excite Bike right now. And I can control the bike with both of these. I can go old school with the D pad. And it's on point. It's pretty solid. It's really good, actually. And I can also use the uh, analog stick, which is this guy right here. So, pretty sweet, right? Also, I did a combo button to basically hold these two and this button to exit. So, I can do that on the phone, holding it down, but there it is. And I'm back in my menu, I can go down and select a different game with my digital stick. Um, if you plan on using this in Windows, there is a, an app I want to share with you that's really important to use called XPatter. And I program all my buttons in XPatter to do different things. So here's my up and down, it's like your arrow keys. This is your five for select, one for start, and I just pulled this image off the internet. But XPatter is this app, and it lets you program your joystick as letters, as if it's a keyboard. Highly recommend it if you plan on using this with uh, other emulators, not just MAME. MAME usually picks up everything as a joystick, but if you're gonna use like Hyperspan or you're gonna use uh, any other emulator, you wanna go with XPatter to be able to communicate with your um, your computer for other emulators. Um, that's it for now. Just giving you a feedback. I'm really impressed with the quality of the joystick. Thanks. Make sure to subscribe for more awesomeness.